Hey, welcome to AB Southern Living, and I'm showing you today that we are doing meal prep. This is a Monday, so we're getting ready for the rest of the week, and we just have stuff everywhere. Well, because today we are planning on making quiche, cabbage stew, maybe if we're we have enough time left, we're gonna make some fig cheese. But right now, we are chopping up carrots, onions, celery, peppers, just all kinds of goodness. And we are putting it all in here because it's our prep work. Hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have some pies and stews made. Stay tuned. Okay, get ready to crack all of these. Issa Brown, Moran, and Black Sex Link eggs. I'll probably do 36 eggs. This is just 18. I'm going to do two of these because I'm going to make several quiches. I'm going to crack all of these guys. I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to whip them up with salt, pepper, oregano, garlic, all kinds of seasonings. And I'll show you. Now we are going to shake pink salt in. Shake, shake, shake. We just do it the visual. I don't ever measure anything out. I know I have 36 eggs in here, so we're going to shake a good amount of salt. I like pink salt, but you know, we're going to shake that. That's probably good. Now, where's the pepper? Yep, let's get shaking the pepper. There we go. We like a lot of pepper, a lot of spice. There we go. All right, let's go with the roasted garlic and herb. Now, it's high humidity here, so we have to shake it up a little bit before we shake it in. There we go. And we're going to shake that in. Shake, 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 shake. Oof. Okay, let's go with some oregano. He's opening the package. <laughs> probably, no, you probably should have checked that before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, but it's open ready. now and here we go with oregano. I think we can use some more oregano. There we go. All right, we're going to mix all of it. Oh, wait, parsley. Parsley, parsley. There we go. There we go. Yep, shake, 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 shake. There we go. And now we're going to whip all of this up. Okay, so I'm going to go to the front burner. I'm going to do this um, just a little above medium. And we are going to put some olive oil in our pan. There we go. All right, that's plenty. And we're going to let that heat up a second. There we go. Might use a little less next time, but this should be fine because we are making a lot. There, we're all covered. And we're going to add all of these vegetables that we cut up earlier for this quiche. Now, there's a lot of different quiche recipes out there. This is just the one that we like. And this is celery, onions, peppers, and mushrooms. There we go. And we are going to soften these vegetables and then lay them off to the side. But I also like to salt and pepper my vegetables whenever heating them up and if I had the garlic over here I'd shake a little bit of that in here I don't know do we have garlic nearby there we go we're gonna shake a little garlic in here there we go a little bit more over here there we go good job Lily all right we'll pause and we'll start mixing it all around because you want to spread your seasonings around and you'll just stir these around until they're nice and soft and then we'll move them and we will prep our pie, our pie crust. All right, now that we've mixed up our spices and things in these 36 eggs, we whipped them up and we're going to paint our pie shells with this egg mixture that we're gonna also use in our pies. So here we go. All right. All right, and while the pie pans are being painted with the egg mixture, we are finishing up our vegetables, and this is what they're supposed to look like. They're softened and somewhat translucent. So this 
this is how you want them. So we're going to turn the heat off on these and get together the rest of our ingredients. Also, don't forget to set your oven to 350 degrees to preheat because we are going to cook this mixture for about 45 minutes after we get it all together. Okay, so in here we are mixing together chopped spinach. I did some little green onions. It's some tzatziki that was made previously mixed in with about a half a pound of sour cream. So we'll mix this all together really well. And then we'll place it in the bottom of our pie crust. In the pie crust, they were brushed with our egg mixture. So they will be, they're ready to receive the creamy, the creamy bottom. Then I'll put cheese on top of that and then vegetables. Okay, these are the brushed, egg brushed pie crust where I'll put the creamy base that we just made over there. And then we'll put our vegetables on top of that. Then we'll place the cheese on top of that. And then we'll pour our egg mixture on top of that to create our quiche. No. This is the creamy mix. And I just put it in the bottom of each pie pan. Spread it around and make a nice even layer. All right, so now we have put the cream mixture in all the bottoms of our pie pans. Now it's time to put our vegetables. And I'm gonna put a layer of vegetables in each pie. Okay, so now we have our, e our pie shells out. It's painted with our egg wash, our egg mixture. I'm calling it an egg wash, but it's going to be what goes in here in a minute. We put our creamy filling at the bottom, which was our sour cream, tzatziki, uh, chopped little green onions, and chopped spinach. Then we placed our already cooked vegetables that we cooked earlier on top of that and then I sprinkled some bacon on top of here. Now I'm going to go through with some cheese and I'm going to cheese them. And I'm going to do a good layer of cheese over each one like this. but not too much because I don't want it to overflow. Because when I pour the egg on, the egg is gonna run through all of this. All right, remember our egg mixture we made earlier? Now it's gonna go on top of all of these pies. And just let them soak in. I put a little bit on top of each one and let that soak in and I'll come back and I'll keep going around to each pie until I get them all filled up. Okay, so now that we have our egg mixture and all of our quiches, we're going to place them all in the oven. Alright, and then we'll put these in. I check them at 20 minutes, and then they'll be done around 40 to 45 minutes. So, here we go. Alright guys, that's it. It took about... 48 minutes because I cooked six pies last first time I did it I did four pies these guys were closer to the top so they got a little browner but um, there they are all done hope you enjoyed our video and we'll talk to you later here at 8B Southern Living